Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about how to handle for multiple windows or child tabs or child windows. How we can able to handle in Cypress. Cypress is not that much of a capability to handle for multiple windows. But in case there is a chance, if you have that uh, link, in that link there is a target presented. If you have the target, then you can able to remove the target and you can able to navigate the same page and then we can able to do it. And second approach wise, like if you have the base URL, like uh, if I inspect this particular one and here you can able to see there is a two attributes are presented. One is href and target. First approach is we can able to delete this center one and we can able to click and we can able to see the same location. That is a one approach. And second approach is like we can able to take the href value and then we can able to navigate to that particular link in the same page. OK, that is a one we can able to do it. And the second approach, there is a, some limitations also presented. And we'll see for first, then we'll explain second approach. I will see. Okay. For the first approach, we can able to delete this comma and also target. Once you deleted and then click this particular window. Now you can see the same window you are navigated. Okay. In this window, we can able to validate this assertion. Okay. How much we can write that window, that particular thing we can able to validate. Okay. And if you click back and you can able to see the parent window. Okay, this is the approach we are going to do for first approach. Okay, now I'm going to copy this URL and coming to here. And here I'm, I'm going to create for my descript block. And this is a suit of that and I'm going to use for windows. Handling. Creating for my function. And that function inside that it block and here target remove and then I'm going to use for and we need to visit the your website then visit is the one see by that visit and here I'm going to paste it for my URL okay then after visiting I need to find that particular path of this one okay then i am going to use for path for that i am going to take it uh, see a uh, selector hub and i am going to take the path okay cy dot get and then i am going to pasting my value okay this is my path okay then i can able to click that one okay but clicking this one it is not a possibility right we cannot able to uh, uh, like after clicking automatically it will uh, launch that new window. If I click without removing, then if I click it will launch for new window, but we can't able to handle this into the Cypress. Then I, I need to delete for deleting purpose. There is a invoke is the method is presented. If you use for invoke, you can see the information also the function on the object previously yield subject yield subject is the one it is presented okay i can able to use for invoke then i'm going to use it here there is a one attribute called remove attribute remove attribute comma and then the what type of value we are going to remove there is a target attribute we are going to remove for target attribute then i'm going to use for target okay then I'm going to click for that particular link. Once we click the link, then we can able to navigate the another page, right? Child window. Now we can see first whether we are able to navigate it or not. After that, we'll see for assertion. Okay. For this NPX, I press open. Once we open uh, 
Chrome browser and mine is window sorry multiple windows what happened okay we are not saved sorry now it is going to launch the window now you can see the new window is appear okay now we can able to uh, verify for the child window path okay for the child window path i can able to do for the assertion i am going to check for url or we can able to for new window this is the context is added we can able to do any one of them okay i am going to take for url even you can able to take for that this path as well new window title is presented and h3 tag also presented okay anything is okay we'll see for both the cases cy dot get so not get we are going to use for url right url and then we need to use for should and then we can able to use for <clears throat> include method include and this is my path I'm going to validate it. Okay, if I refresh and uh, see, we can my assertion got passed, but I want to validate for text tags well. If I want to explain the text also, then I can take for CSS selector path. Then we can able to use for here cy dot get, and I'm going to use for single quotation my pass. Double quotation inside that dot should dot have dot text okay the text we are going to check for new window okay save and check whether we are able to validate yes we are able to validate okay and after that i want to go back for parent I want to go back for parent okay for the parent purpose we can able to use it for cy dot go method okay this go method you can able to see navigating back or forward for the previous or next url in the browser history purpose we are going to use <coughs> go function okay and after that we can able to use for same similar format okay I'm going to take again URL and here I'm going to take for only checking for parent window right now I'm saving now two actions now string or Okay, go command in the description back. Okay, we need to use for back. Now we can, now we can able to validate for child window. There is a back keyword I'm not used. That's why it is failed. Now I use for back, then it is got passed. Okay. Now parent and both the cases now I am able to validate. Now we'll see for second approach. Okay. Second approach having the limitation. It's uh, not always we can able to use, but very rare case. Not removing, we can navigate shield. Okay, same everything, but I'll uh, delete this one target removing okay then sorry this path is okay and removing we need to delete 
okay here i am going to use for then condition and here i can able to use it here then element in the function creation and set the function i'm going to use for let keyword or constant or var keyword anything you can able to use it my url equal to your element dot property property method okay in the property what we need to get there is a href right this is the href tag and that href tag we need to get it okay after getting we need to visit like uh, cy dot a uh, visit we need to use the same uh, one visit and we need to pass for url okay now you can able to see for child window and as well as if after doing for go back then again parent window also it will come okay if you run now see again it is got passed okay now you can able to see the first one and getting href and you can able to see the visit is the window okay and after that it is get the two hour sessions and also back and parent uh, another parent window also we are able to validate and here what is the limitation here the limitation is nothing but here what the limitation means here you can copy this particular child window url okay and uh, parent now you can see here up to here up to dot com both the urls are same okay in child also there is only this is the information got changed remaining everything is got uh, we are uh, the different okay in case if this parent base url is not same this particular second approach you cannot able to handle okay you cannot able to handle if parent window like base url both the cases first time when you launch the url that is the one and here when you hit the link or hit this particular link button if you click after launching for new window that url both are same basic url basic url is same then that moment you can able to use second approach first like if both are not equal then you should not use if it is both are same means first when you launch the first url and after clicking the url base url is same then only you can able to use this particular second approach okay i hope this information help for you thank you